Standout moment of uh, Matt Shea's video today. He complained that Messier is not high def. And I was like, thank you. Someone in this universe other than myself cares if they're high def or not. Well, I know some other people do, and I'm grateful when people do, because, I mean, when they're low def, it's an abomination. And actually, when he said it, I thought, oh yeah, looking at that card on her back, look at the bottom edge of the card. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the bottom edge of the card and wonder at how that was acceptable to go forward with. The absolute pixelation on that. I mean, you know, some people may disagree with me on 720p being the highest resolution you'll ever need, but I'll tell you one thing, we can agree that is not 720p stuff right there. I mean, that's more like pixel density that we're talking about, but I don't know. It's not 720p per appropriate amount, let's be fair. Am I getting decimated here? Because that's not good. We've got to get our Peach Devils out here. We're getting decimated and it's not good news. However, Cyberpunk is safe, which is the big surprise. Like, Messier isn't just, is, just isn't that nasty, clearly. She's alright. <laughs> they put all their budget into music, obviously. Yeah, to be fair. I mean, I was about to say, oh, well, I could make a high definition image for free, but actually all, all of my images are dreadfully low definition. In fact, I've taken a photo uh, that I, I liked, and I, I made it look like one of my, one of my uh, floating, not floating, like, you know, changing each day uh, desktop backgrounds. Hang on. There's been exciting antics. Let's just get the music back, because I show you decides it doesn't like existing when Streamlabs tries to exist as well. It's like, it's just me. Just one of the two. But actually, by the, by the time it was a desktop background, it looked dreadfully low definition. I'm like, this is like, this, the resolution of that image, I hate to say the words, but it was 4K. So, I don't know. Maybe I could argue that just goes to show 4K is pointless, but... I don't know. It's probably because I'm, I'm fundamentally always doing something wrong. I don't know why it suddenly looked quite bad, but I don't know. It just seemed to. It's weird, but it was like the resolution of the image was 3840 by 2160 or something like that. They're chunky numbers. I shouldn't have any problem at all, but I did. I absolutely did, so who knows. Anyway, what we do know is that Colds Page 99 has cheered us 100. Hang on, I'm trying to think of an adjective, but I don't know. Like, my mouth tripped over itself, then I almost swore. So I'm going to say phantasmical 100 bits. Thank you. I'm watching The Witcher at the moment. It's pretty good. I watched the first episode of The Witcher. And it's like a... It's like a... Visually appealing is, I think, the only thing going for it. It is otherwise completely nonsensical. And something I, you know, realised I'd have no enjoyment watching. But glancing. Glancing. You know... Which is a, a concept in the old, uh, the old academia, you know, do you glance or do you watch? It's a debate within itself. Um, and TV is apparently more of a glance medium, right? The idea being that people don't really care what's on TV, they just occasionally look at it. I think The Witcher, basically, perfect for that. Because there's always something visual going on. But, otherwise, you know, narratively, you kind of just don't even want to know what's going on. Flipping sake. This is live? No, absolutely not. I'm, uh, I recorded this alone. It's just a kind of random, unedited file. And I, I'm hoping that what I've said now roughly corresponds to someone asking if I'm live or not. Hang on a minute, did we never actually defeat Messier? Did it kill my peach tables and come back again? Have I gone back in time? What? What's happened? I, I don't understand this at all.
Oh no, the base health. Right. I am living in reality. We're just, I'm just bad. Okay, we rescued it. But we're going to need to start specialising the slot because that was hecka difficult. I spent so long on the level, the song's become quite annoying now. <laughs> Stupid lyrics. Why? Did I get any ideas of where to start watching the Fate series? I believe there was some Fate thing on Netflix. I don't know if all of it's there, though. Because, I, you know, I, I did spend... I think it was the evening I started watching Evangelion. I was just searching through one of those bars on Netflix. It's like, animes! Which is, you know, one of the more genuine categories rather than such ridiculous things as... Good TV, or must-watch shows, or some rubbish like that that's completely meaningless. I was looking for animes, I was like, oh, Battle Cats? Oh, Battle Cats? Oh, Kotatsu Cat? And, you know, eventually I found Evangelion, and I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Because, I mean, that was when the second Evangelion curl up was coming around again. I wanted to get clued up, and I'm glad I did. Oh! It's the music! I haven't heard this before! Oh, that's lovely. That's wonderful. That's just got, that's got gravitas and weight to it, hasn't it? That's... And that little, those little, this, that, those bits there are an amazing kind of musical section that I just want to mention. Like, you know, I failed my way through music, but hopefully you'll understand what I'm trying to get out here. The first bit has a kind of natural chord to it. You know, you go bom, bom, bom. Uh, you know, notes equally apart from each other or whatever. And that sounded like, uh, you know, the... Um, I'll just briefly mute this so I can explain my point. So it's like the... You know, and you beat Battle Cats and it's that silly monologue from Cat God. You know the music behind that? When you beat the moon? That. And then the next chord after that... Right, um, has a sort of kind of flat note in it, and you know when you sort of like go equally apart notes, and I, it's called like a something seventh or something, um, where it sounds just sort of slightly off, and and that kind of gave me like Westworld vibes. I don't know, like really musically rich even within those two little bits. It was great. Anyway, good stuff. I don't think anyone cares though, as soon as I start talking about something, we get just a conversation about Uber sets, basically. Oh, it's the world beyond. Named it wrong, for flip's sake. Uber be like, I think it's done now already. What's he doing? Let's play that. Here we go. There, there, there. That was it. Uh, da, da. You know, sort of slightly kind of... Is it minor key? I don't know. But... Da, da. Sort of like almost hinting like there's something slightly afoot. Something slightly spooky going on. And... I love that. That sort of tells a story even within itself. You know, you've got this kind of... 
you know, oh, Battle Cat's lovely, you know, and there's like, da, 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 da. I didn't, you know, represent it very well, but then that's like, oh, something's going on here. I don't know if anyone's got that YouTube ad for Masterclass. I mean, I'm sure you've got loads of them, but you know the Hans Zimmer one? Where he's like, he plays a couple of notes and he goes, ooh, a question. Do, 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 do. Ooh, an answer. And it's like this. It's like telling stories with music, isn't it? I like it. Yes, it's probably a flat three note. Causes a minor chord. I mean, that, that sounds vaguely similar to what I said. I'm, I'm happy with that. Right. Well, beyond then, I guess. Throw one home, mate. Disgusting. Yeah, there's a kind of... You hear that, it's kind of like normal major warming chord and then a kind of something's a foot minor chord. Lovely. Uh, right, okay, so I need to try and compute what what's actually sensible here. try that. Now I might be really stupid, but why not? Oh, oh yeah, rip the music. And now we just got the standard battle theme. I was enjoying that. Oh well. Bum, 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 bum. Problem is, now in every single piece of this music, all I can hear is in the middle of the 2020, and I, I just, I've had enough. Why does this have to happen to me? <gasps> is that Ray Iron Army? Got her. Nice. I wonder if we needed 9,000 though. Have I failed as an individual? Oh, we got music back, it's good. No, we're fine. There, lovely major chord. Da -da. And then it sort of starts from a slightly lower note. Bo -bo -bo -bo. Like, I don't know. The start of, like, the intro sequence to Westworld. I mean, I never watched the first series because the second series started off absolutely dreadfully. And I'm not bad enough of this. It's it's found its way up its own bum somehow. I really don't like it now. Anyway, the point is, like, the music remains brilliant. Same person did the Game of Thrones music. Ramin... Ma Ramin... Jawadi? Ju Something like that? Anyway, gave me vibes like that. No, it tells a story, doesn't it? It's interesting. My man's reggae explaining music to us. That would be that would be ill advised, right? I'm I'm trying to give kind of musical explanations to the feeling the music gives, but um, you know, definitely not. Definitely, absolutely not. Um, something that I understand music. Trajan, Trajan, that's cheered us 10 bits, thank you. Speaking of music, have you played any instrument? Made music yourself? Oh, I definitely haven't made music myself. I uh, played a bit of piano. Uh, if you want to hear me playing the piano, there's a little bit of it. 
uh, sporadically throughout the Doki Doki series. I wouldn't be able to tell you which episodes it's in, but uh, I, I did give a go at playing Your Reality, which is um, a lovely piece of music. And actually, you know, the music I found simple enough for me to give a go at. Yeah, definitely not a kind of, you know, if, if, you know, like if a survey or something says, how many languages can you speak? And then it's like, you know, think of being able to speak a language as you could understand the news written in that language. And I'm like, well, no, then. Okay, I try a bit with German, but, you know, I definitely wouldn't be able to listen to a news broadcast in it. Same for the piano. If someone asked me if I was a musician, I'd say absolutely not. If someone asked me if I can play your reality very slowly and not very well, yeah. Yeah, I can do that. That's all right. I like the piano, you know, nice bit of piano. That's even better, really, isn't it? That's why I was like, oh, yes, it uses the flat, because it, it, it gave an image in my head of someone going, white key, space, white key, space, <gasps> flat, up the top. Little thin, thin black stick thing. Pianos, for my musicality there. <laughs> thin black stick thing, yeah, pianos. It's like... Like Jesse Pinkman. Yeah, science. Yeah, pianos. Yeah, pianos. Oh, I've done it again. <laughs> Just blasted the music into, into nowhere land. Oh, hang on a minute. The restrictions are gone. Oh, Max Nine Deployable Cats 15. Okay. Okay, that'll do. You know what? That'll be fine. I'll take it into the level and give it a go. It should be a lot of fun. Where's the music gone? Bow, bow, bow. This music second rate. Not as good as the piano. Do 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 do. Piano music's much better than this. Owners have outclassed themselves. Righto, that's that sorted out. Oh, I scored in the first one, actually. Alrighty. Mm It would be sensible for me to put together a proper slot, especially as this is 300 energy, but I I don't care enough. I, it's terrible, really, but I just want my uh, want my slots to do the job. And I hope they do. When's Doki Doki back? Well, exactly, when's Doki Doki back? That's a good question. Um, who knows, right? Who knows? Um, I think it would be wise for me to schedule bringing back Doki Doki for when I have no opportunity to record anything. Not that there's any incentive to record anything anymore, because actually, you know, even if I don't receive many donations, like the videos now genuinely do worse than the streams. So, I guess it would make most sense of when I go back to university, right? That would probably be sensible. 
Let's have Misato win this for us, I reckon. Confusion, plenty. Confusion, plenty. Confusion, plenty. Confusion, plenty. In the midst of global confusion in the 2020 baseball player. A terrible song was written and it was sung several times in Messier Returns and in Wrath and Revengeance. It is a barren stage, we don't like them, but Messier's better because it has a wacky tune that brings you back and brings you back and makes you want to come back to it. Back to it. Ah, thank goodness I couldn't stop freestyling now. I thought you cannot record in university already. Well, exactly. That's why I'll be doing the Doki Doki series. It, it, it was, you know, all finished recording by, like, mid-March 2018. This is... It's quite old. <laughs> Just to put that out there. Um... But, you know, we're taking our time putting it out more accurately. I think it's lazy. Um, I appreciate the notions of Evangelion collab. And you know what? I love that as much as the next person. But the rules are in this here streamland that we don't talk about upcoming game stuff. And that remains to be the case. So please keep your comments in the present and ideally in like open-ended questions you mean you recorded the entire game of doki doki already yes a very long time ago a very long time ago back you know back within the time that it was relevant you know that's how long ago that was but i don't care about it being relevant the series is about telling a story and having a different kind of take on doki doki to most people i guess and also building a good relationship with yuri those three points. And I feel like I succeeded in two. I guess you'll be able to decide which two. was an ambitious octave there, Rog. Don't do that again. These levels. Good. Wonderful Midas touch. Don't have a sneak peek at my Midas touch clears. I know you do. I'm not supposed to spoil anything from Doki Doki here, right? No, nothing. Spoil don't spoil anything from anything, because spoilers are bad. You don't know who who's here who might want to enjoy all that content and you know might be deliberately starving themselves of it or you know just never knew anything about it but would want to try it for themselves there you go anyway those are my clears but we're we're on we're on annihilation city aren't we i'm glad i i heard that being mentioned because otherwise you know like matt i'd that was a fun moment in his video i'd be like so it's the shuet shuet tisanu Tiramisu collab uh, and something something Annihilated City and it, it, I mean Matt got the name right anyway I, I've forgotten it <laughs> and he goes like so I bet guess I've got to do the Annihilation City stage first what <laughs> oh. the Tiramisu collab I mean apart from that possibly being kind of a, a terrible kind of cultural faux pas from me. I would like to say that I love tiramisu. It's wonderful. I mean, things with coffee in them are generally a brilliant idea. Also, you can sometimes have a little bit of alcohol at the bottom of a tiramisu and, like, you know, you get to the bottom of your dessert and then suddenly you're like... Pfft. You're like, wow! Whoa. That got me. They had me in the second half, not gonna lie. With the, uh, with the alcohol at the bottom of the tiramisu. I love this music. It's good. It's very good. That's why I'm an epic commentator, because I can make interesting, nuanced points like 
it's very good. Monica scared me. Well, yeah, you know, without getting into uh, any details, and this also applies to you, Mortal Nimco, and anyone else, um, I, I feel like, I don't know, I don't know if anyone else played the game the same way I did, of uh, not taking any any bull shrimp from Monica, you know. I sort her out, I'm like, stop that. Multiple times, with a lot more swearing than saying stop that. But, you know, I, I, don't, I didn't take any of her... Uh, any of her nonsense. You know, Monica's got to be called out. And, you know, I feel like I'm the one to do that. And whoever else does that, we are calling out a bull squid. Ah, that works better. That's a Doki Doki reference. Bull squid. I mean, not the bull part. Anyway. Um, right, what do we do then? How long we got left on mess here? Ten minutes. Shocking. Shocking. I guess we're going to have to uh, get ourselves a leadership. Nice. Uh, and seems this is like last stage, isn't it? We're going to get the thing back anyway. Almost worked. Three star lost. Good luck though. Lol, even. Hi Lucas, I have a question for you. Um, do you see quality options on this stream? Because I still haven't gained any control over it, but I noticed today that I could see quality options. So maybe you might be in luck. I don't know. Also, if we're going down this road, you might as well change my slot 9 into a proper equipped for... Um, this collab slot, right? Might as well. And uh, while you generate ideas to do that, I should probably do another collab stage because otherwise I'm just going to be absolutely wasting some of that absolute energy. I see quality options, but it seems to be locked at high quality. Them some antics. Fantastic. Well, my apologies to you, Lucas. As I said, I have no control over this, and I mean, even Twitch themselves say that. Only partners can decide quality options, which I, I don't I don't understand that. Them them filthy affiliates misusing quality options. Like, how would you do that? I don't understand. It's not even something like you decide, like people watch with their own qual I I it's not it's not a it's not a line of a reasoning I I get but there we go manic lion spam is a, is a way to get ourselves uh, out of that oh it works now oh well excellent good but I mean I still have no control over it of this music Dart should carry Lost three stars. Oh, okay. That would be nice. Uh, Vinny Alice, cheers, 10 bits. Thank you. Eva zero, 00, Shadow, whatever you have. <laughs> I love that. Lucas is very good with these prefixes. I mean, he came up with saying fests. I mean, as far as I'm aware. And I'm like, oh yeah, rather than saying Uberfest or Epic Fest or whatever other fest comes out, you could just say Fests. Um, and now he's like, Shadow whatever. 
prefixes and suffixes. Lucas is on that. And you know what? Making things a lot more efficient and easy for us to all talk about. So Lucas is doing us a service here. Easy clap for Lucas. Jelly, probably useless. Sand, I'll replace it with uh, Smanzo then. Let's have a look, shall we? Have I gone too far? I can't have gone too far, surely. No. 40 plus 25, why? Why are so many plus levels, Rob? Why? Why have you done this? Well, we've got some, uh, we've got some disagreement there. What an absolute shocker. Can't believe people have disagreed with Spookus. What am I going to do now? I like waves as a general idea, you know. It's like generally a thing I like. So here's my thought. Is the music changing key? Oh, I don't know about keys. Honestly, no idea. I mean, I could use it as like an abstract term, but I probably wouldn't be using it correctly. You could maybe replace Momotaro with uh, uh, slapsticks or something. Well, here was what I was thinking of replacing, and it was indeed Peach Devils with, because of waves. But I obviously haven't checked ranges, which is what I always tell people to do. So I don't know if this all is a good idea or not. I'm sure I'll get some quick absolutely not or absolutely. Cradlers, mm, okay too, I guess. I don't mind swapping it out for slapsticks. Um, Jizo or slapsticks? Slap, slapstick, slapstick? No, slapstick cats. So slapstick. Um, because like, there's not many black enemies, are there? But then again, we might want Jizo for, uh, if this is a multi-purpose slot, for Messier. But I don't know. You should be fine either way. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's give this a go then. Or do we? You know what? I'm gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm actually. I'm genu. Have I got any super rares in here? I haven't. I'm gonna go genuinely like less gacha. I don't know why I'm feeling the urge to be less gacha, but slapstick cats—they're calling to me right now. So maybe it's my beginner account influence influencing myself. Let's do it then. Hack and do it. Rip music. If only it could carry over. I mean, at least we haven't got the sound effects on, because it'd be like, it'd be, um, do, 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 ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba. <laughs> Oh, and that would, that would destroy the, uh, the calmness even more. That's the start in battle tune. Surprised he didn't didn't uh, recognise it. My waveform only went into the yellow. Come on, stop being so bunch of snowflakes, honestly. <laughs> Dreadful term. I thought it was appropriate enough for my my. Uh, Epic satire. Look at my already slapstick stack. This was a good decision. Maybe. Shadow, shadow, shadow girl. base hit. I probably don't want to be advancing as much as I am. Anyway, I'm going to heed Nightbot's advice because it's finally given it in a useful way. 
delete that promotional video. Look, Mum, no hands. Playing about cats. Look, son, how about you do something useful instead about cats? Ah, oh, Mum, you got me. Ah, look at me not growing my worker cat. And look at me being unobservant to the absolute death heading my way. Uh, we're going Shadow Gal. I've just got to hope that Shadow Boxer K is uh, just a good boy, basically. There's me trying to open Discord to get rid of the message. actions here. Got to do it in, as that electro swing song goes, one steady roll. We keep rocking with one steady roll. There we go. Okay, good. We sort it out. It's our right. Move on, musicality continue. Frames are like genuinely. You're having you're having troubles. I'm afraid there's like there's nothing I can do about this. Realistically, I stream on the very fastest and lowest quality settings available. And if there's still problems, well, you know what? I don't believe in those problems. I know that's not helpful, or realistic, or just of this earth. But honestly, what can I do? Get a better computer, Raggett. Oh, you got me. Maybe I would if I actually got any revenue these days. Ah, got you back. Right. There's me having an imaginary conversation again. Which I have to, because no one engages with me in the chat. Oh, he's done it again. What a comeback. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, crikey. Let's get this sorted out then. Ah, oh, yes, it's the... Uh, Slightly changed music as well, aren't this? <laughs> Got them, dab. Brilliant. Don't embarrass me, boys. That this collab has ruined the main Battle Cats riff for more people than just me. I can't actually bear to listen to it anymore. <laughs> well, I'm just hearing those lyrics. <laughs> ah. Shay once very famously said, who needs cow when you've got gal? Keeps calling it gal, it's shadow gal. Respect him with his full title. And proper pronunciation as well. <laughs> Wasn't able to hear this much of the song before, but it is glorious, like a proper rip-roaring adventure kind of song. Get slowed, my son. You've gone too far, bum bum, killing one of my shadow gals. You paid the price for that. Oh. Yuki didn't seem quite as accountable, though. Wait, so realistically, how are you supposed to get the treasure radar and the high score reward in this level? I know. Do you know what you do? You do Midas Touch, and you get it that way instead. Because lucky ticket stages are brilliant. I hope I don't need to remind you of this, but, you know, I will just in case you need reminding. They are fantastic, and they give you treasure radars. So, do them. 
that's how you get your treasure radar. You just do a few minus touches. Boom! Chat strat. <laughs> there we go, lovely. Right, fantastic. We've, uh... We have beaten you. We have succeeded. Yay, not too bad. fantastic -o. Um, I imagine, like, in actual answer to the question, uh, you know, it's just to keep obsessives obsessed with it, like how I'm obsessed with doing minus touch and doing it quickly, with the whole great speed run thing, um, and other lucky ticket stages. I mean, I'm not bothered by it, but maybe someone out there is, and they're working towards getting it done. I mean, you know, when people put their minds to it, look at the amazing, like, no gacha feats and all other stuff, one line up and all that they succeeded in. Nice leadership obtained. That's like a like a proper gamer achievement, isn't it? <laughs> it's like ticks over to 69 leaderships and it, it's like, achievement get! Nice! <laughs> Congratulations, gamer. You've ascended. Right. Looks like we're going to be finishing off the stream with Land of Dreams once again. Uh, on the advice of literally everyone ever, lol, uh, we're going to be swapping in slime. Almost perfectly faded out there. Bit too soon, but you know, now we got the big wob with our famously fantastic lyrics. Down in 2020, no one cares what you have to say because you have said it so many times. I really don't care. Get higher definition, more pixels, and maybe I will listen to you. Every parody of this is better than the song. Matt's is better. I dare say mine's better. If I do say so myself. I mean, what are these lyrics? What? What are they? Goodness me. Yeah, they're, they're terrible, but they're lovably terrible. I should be careful with my work here. Get it up a little bit. Come on, boys. Aren't these lyrics from the opening scene? You are correct. They are. I do believe they are based on what Cat God says. At least I, I I got the reference to my writing was so bad. But I mean, that doesn't make it okay. That's just a terrible piece of writing as well. But I guess that's why I say they're, they're lovably bad, you know. They come from somewhere and, you know, that's at least something. I mean, I'd trade it in in a heartbeat for a decent song, but hey. Why am I failing? Could it be because I'm stingy not putting a rich cat on? Oh, Shadow Boxer K is the dead. I am success. Wait, why have I got anti normal type and Messier's floating? Am I the big failure? Just to be clear, I wasn't trying to use them to target Messi, I just forgot she was floating and thought, this multi-purpose slot will be fan -tasmic. It's not. Nyanko. I mean, the way she says Nyanko is the best part of the song, and luckily, it does it twice. It's pretty good. Come on, Messi. We're going slightly over time on the stream now, so I need you to die pronto. Get gone. Eat it. No. 
Morris there. No! He's broken! I mean, that's a, that's a very successful person, roughly my age, doing a lot more of his life than I am. Oh well. I'm, I'm head bopping, I realise no one can tell. But I was so, so invested in my head bopping that I just, I just went with it. Not as bad as the time I muted myself, live on stream. Nothing to add to the finally caught a reggae stream meme. But, you know, bopping and ignoring the audience is, is second best. Yes, zero, zero, you are the shield. I was going to say the boy, I was going to say the girl, I was going to say the cat. You are none of those. You are the shield. Agent of shield. I put dark in, I mean, you know. It's not... It's not good for the floatings, but fast boy, so we'll do. Ah, it's gonna be good for Shadowbox, okay? Well, success. <laughs> you are not dead. Oh, I love Amy Gillian so much. I might make a video on it, even though it's just gonna be a completely pointless exercise financially, because you know what? Love Evangelion. Love the stuff. And I mean, minus touch will be over by then, so we can we can dedicate our, our full attention to Evangelion. Oh goodness me! Imagine if there was an Evangelion lucky ticket stage. Imagine how dedicated my life would be to that. That would be the confluence of two fantastic things. Oh, slime, yes. Whoever doubted you, no one. Everyone's raving about you. So Messier, you're not you're not really you're not really falling in with the whole kind of getting this done quickly because I need to go kind of thing, really, are you? Pretty shocking. Mate, Marty Puddle would know what to do. Decimate. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Shadow Boxer K, you filthy magnified boy. <laughs> One thing I want to tell you is. And on that very moment, bass gets splatted. I want to tell you, is that you? Sahak lol. <laughs> <laughs> Let's end with some positive words from Lucas the Fourth. I mean, to be fair, you're using a heavily unoptimized lineup. Honestly, you surviving the level this far with this lineup is pretty good on its own. Lol. Great news. Okay. Well, we'll come back to this at some stream in the future and hey, you know, maybe we'll get it done. 7%. Not too bad. Not too much energy wasted and hey, we all enjoyed ourselves. Well, I hope you did anyway. I did quite a lot, so I certainly hope you did. Right, so, see you all later then. Thank you for popping along and to Ralph.